Alrighty, Brigitta, she looks like a fire unit, but that's the most watery look ever. Only by knowing yourself and knowing your enemy can you succeed. So if there's something you want to learn, come find me. I like her voice. <laughs> or learn a painful lesson. She makes a witch hunt? Okay, that's kind of cool. That's interesting. Brigitta Skugiheim's Brigitta. That's how you say it. Every piece of news or gossip circulating Skugiheim goes through her. Her clientele consists mainly She's of the, cool. the shadow elves of Skugiheim, but she will trade information with anyone. Yeah, that's a really cool animation, actually. Their race or affiliation. I like Though, that idea. Since she could lose work or be ostracized by her fellow shadow elves if found out, she charges a steep. Well, it's so quiet because for some reason the volume of talking is quieter Recently, than everything else. She's been collecting more information from across all of Eurasia. Okay, let's see. Brigitte has a five-star effectiveness. Yep. She has high effectiveness. Brigitte. Increase her effectiveness further through her imprint concentration. Okay, let's see what she does. Skill two. Skill two dispels two debuffs from an ally and increases commerce by thirty-five percent. Grants an extra turn. Okay. Um, and it goes up to fifty percent. Okay, that seems good. That seems really solid. Increases combat readiness by up to fifty percent. Grants an extra turn. Okay. Skill three. Dispels all buffs from the enemy for up to a hundred percent chance to inflict bind and block. What's block? Unaffected by any buffs. So you have to cleanse it, because no buffs will give you anything. Wasn't well, that similar to unbuffable in a way, though? Oh, wait, is it uncleansable? Wait a second, is this uncleansable? Nothing personal, kid. Dispels all buffs from the they say nothing personal, kid. <laughs> That's, why is that the name of this? Why is that the name of the skill? <laughs> what is that name, dude? Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the name? Um, decrease commerce by 10%. Okay, push them back uh, 30% if they have block. Okay. Her animations are really cool. Oh. My. God. <laughs> There's no way they just made book for soul weavers. There's no way they just did that. That is unbelievable. <laughs> it's a five star book. What are they doing? What are they doing? What, like, actually, what in the world are you doing? That is unreal one of the most powerful artifacts in the history of the game and you're making it so soul weavers get it too i can't believe this bloom and weapon passed down through generations <gasps> dude this would have been so good in my moon bunny cleave oh my god it has a condition yeah non-attack skill but still that's crazy and this also makes it so in the future it can be really strong potentially too oh my god ahmed this is insane. Known for their long history. This is unreal. I, like, I can't believe they made this. After using a what are they skill, thinking? Like, th this has... Th this could, like, in the future become insane, too. Just every new Soul Reaver that ever comes out also has the potential to use this. This is insane on some characters, like Ahmed and stuff, too. No yeah, and DDR, accurate. even. Wait, this is crazy. What, what are they thinking? Who asked? Players will be able to meet Brigitte through the drop rate up banner starting Oh next my season. god. Yeah, this is a healer, guys. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Does your life by so, is she good, though? I'm not uh -huh. sure how I feel about this character. This is insane. Why am I so busy? I'm not sure how I feel about this. She doesn't seem insane at all. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Artifacts more broken than the character? I kind of agree. Let's see. This is the example. 
voyage. Spawn voyage. I'll treat you nice. Yeah, it's only on one person, too. <laughs> no, Bologna! She's a witch! Burn her! So they're unaffected by buffs they have, so things that are unstrippable like Vigor and Rage and Pestilence don't work anymore. So, yeah, what you guys are saying about using against Genoa, she's literally designed just to fight Genoa. That's it, isn't it? Because who else do you really care about using this on? Like, does this even matter? Using it on anybody else? Okay, I, I'm not 100% sure. Is this cleansable? Is that cleansable? Does anyone know? It has, like, a different look to it but i i don't know i think it's cleansable <laughs> all systems online yeah okay so it can be cleansed all right let's go <laughs> binding a unit is really good but i don't know in a way it makes you think like it's basically just another form of unbuffable it's just unbuffable but certain circumstances where they already have an insane buff on it works but like wait this doesn't even work on genoa because if you use this on genoa oh i guess he's bound so he can't use his s2 okay so i i think this character wait it's unexpected by dispel wait that's what i was asking you guys did you guys lie to me This one. Unaffected by dispels other than your own. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I understand now. All right. So I was misunderstanding that. Okay, so it's an unbuffable that can't be cleansed then in a way. Yeah, so nobody but the bearer can help them. That's... That's actually pretty good. So they can dispel the bind, but they can't dispel that. So buffs just don't work on you. This seems actually potentially really good then. I think in cases where the opponent only has like one DPS, like she could potentially be no really, really good then. No service. Don't forget the advice I give you. Huh, okay. This, this is actually really interesting now. Yeah, see, Moon Bunny didn't cleanse. Her imprint's effectiveness. So if you have triple S of her, which I mean, nobody but a big whale is going to have that. Um, with her in build, you get 57% effectiveness built in. It's weird, because she's a debuffer that's also a support. Very interesting. I don't know how to feel about this character. It's like, in some ways, they're really good, but in other ways, I'm not sure if I'd want to use them. Hold on. Do you use her in Clave? Is she a Clave unit? You bind one of their counter characters, strip their buffs, and then you get 20 souls to the team, and she's an opener, and she can push an ally up. She only has 114 speed. She's like an opener you use versus specific characters. That's very interesting, actually. I, I kind of like what they're going you for here. I've oh, against Karina! True! <laughs> Wait... She's an anti-Genoa, anti-Karina character. Wait a minute. That's really interesting. And she gives 20 souls. Wait. But I think she's balanced because she only has 114 speed too, so she's not like an insane speed opener. Just as I planned. Victory is ours. She doesn't block passives, but she has bind, which is really good. So you can't counterattack or dual attack or... Hmm. This is really interesting. This character is very different. I think I like them. I, the more I think about this character, the more I like how they work. She also has the own, her own souls for this ability. Because when she S2s, she gets the 20 souls, and then you S3. That's kind of cool, right? She's actually self-sufficient, too. 
And nobody can dispel this ability except for the one who has it. So like if you use this on Laia, she can dispel it with the rest too. But if you use this on Aiden, Laia can't cleanse Aiden. This is, I, I like this. This is really interesting. I think it's fair because it only works on one person. Like, bro, this isn't Knockwall where you hit a whole team, right? This is a lot more fair where it's only one person. It also doesn't do anything like they take increased damage or decrease cooldowns or pushback or slow. It does nothing else. It's literally just one character isn't able to use certain stuff. So you specifically use it against, yeah, like Genoa and um, Karina and a few characters like that. The poor Sandbag. Um, yeah, she's really good versus one DPS comps, but at the same time, one DPS comps usually wouldn't care about this a lot of the time. I don't know, one one DPS comps, like, if it's Laia, for instance, doesn't care, Spectre Tenebra doesn't care, but if it's like, I don't know, Aiden one DPS comp, yeah, they're in trouble, right? Um, huh. I, I kind of like it. Yeah, it works against Emma Landy. Emma Landy would still have the anti-crit? But she wouldn't be able to counterattack or anything. And she wouldn't be able to get any buffs. Very interesting. Uh, I think Lionheart Sermia would cleanse herself. I believe she cleanses then binds. Or cleanses then. Yeah, I, th I believe even if she's bound, she cleanses then activates, I think. But then she wouldn't get the buffs. Like she wouldn't get defense buff or anything. Like she would get them, but they wouldn't affect her. Really weird. This is a really strange ability, um, and I like that her S2 is a cleanse. It makes her very multi-purpose, the fact that she has a cleanse built in, but she's more of an aggressive character. It's kind of like a mini Ahmed push-up, but then into this. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think she's good? I think she has a lot of potential, but she might not be all that amazing. I would say, more importantly, this artifact is ridiculous. I think this is a terrible idea. I think this is honestly such a bad idea that they made this. Um, I don't really, I, I don't really think anyone is happy about this. You know, <laughs> like um, one, it's an artifact you have to max to make it work, which is stupid as a five star artifact. And secondly, it's just another book, and nobody wanted another book. Like this is just a mistake. This is just a horrible mistake. Nobody actually wants this to exist. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like this is a bit ridiculous. This is some strange whale bait that they're throwing out of nowhere. Uh, you say Belion stock's going up, but everyone who's using Book is banning Belion. So that's not really going to happen. Very interesting character, though. Um, I'm definitely going to pull them and try them out. I think her S3 animation goes so hard, though, too. This animation is really cool. I like it a lot. Oh, video doesn't want to work. Her clientele consists mainly of her kid, the Shadow. Wait, here we go. Come find me. I think this animation is so cool, though. <laughs> it's a bunch of propaganda. I'll treat you nice. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I hope that when I pull for one copy of her, I get about ten of her artifact. Come on, Smallgate, please.